the southern suburbs were receiving a lot of negative media um, around um, crime and violence, um, youth issues and we were actually tagged the suburbs of fear. We felt like we didn't have any local champions that were stepping up and giving a different story. So painting a different picture about what it was like um, to live in the southern suburbs. We know we have um, areas of high social disadvantage, but the perception was not matching the reality of people's experience of actually living in the southern suburbs. So um, whilst the media was portraying one picture, what we were hearing from our residents was something quite different, but that wasn't getting any airplay um, in the media. So we wanted to find a way of equipping, skilling, empowering local people to be able to stand up and be proud publicly of, um, of their communities and let people know what a good place this is to be. And that's not just about the, the beautiful topography and um, the landscapes, the beaches that we have here, but it's about the community relationships and the social capital um, that we've got here. Because even in our suburbs of the highest social disadvantage, we actually have very high levels of social capital and we needed people that were confident enough to be able to talk about that and to um, demonstrate the strong community spirit. We engaged the services of Sharon Zivkovic from Community Capacity Builders because she already had a model running that covered some of the core competencies that we needed to encompass in the course in order for people to be able to get their TAFE certificate. Leadership on Kapringa was really an idea that was to try to give people the toolbox to have the mechanism to uh, expand their capacity, to expand their horizons, to give them much broader opportunities within their own chosen fields or even to expand beyond those chosen fields. What's been fantastic about this has been that people have gone on to work, people have gone on to doing other leadership roles, people have gone on to lead others uh, to come into the um, program. So it's been a really, really great exercise from that perspective. And know the people at the beginning of the program and then see them at the end of the program. I know the program works. It works for all of them. In addition to that, the projects are really important because it gives them another horizon it gives them another thinking process about there's more to what they're currently doing in their leadership role than just continuing to do that. It, it opens horizons where they can look for other opportunities and I think that's really exciting. I've seen the people who've come through the program go on to manage boards of hospitals for instance and talk to others within the board about why they've progressed to that role that they're in. So it definitely has a ripple effect um, and, it, and it encourages everybody to believe that everyone can make those big changes. Everybody can make those steps. Everybody can go beyond their current position and broaden out into, into anything they want to do if they've got the, the skills to do it. And Leadership on Karinga is about saying, here is the toolbox, here is the thinking, how you can progress to that, to that level. I think the residents play a key role in the council going forward and I think um, for me I'm quite keen to engage the broader community and the residents. Um, we've done a lot of work on that through the community plan but I think what we're looking for is some leadership from the community. So it's not just about us doing it, it's about us understanding what the broader population wants. I think the information we get and the people that engage with us, are, are it's a fairly small population so we're looking for the new breed I guess for those that are keen and passionate about what local government does deliver not just your roads your rates and your rubbish but all the other services that we do deliver um, and then playing a key part in advocating for us being involved in our programs we rely a lot on volunteers as well um, so for those that we can educate on what we do and, and get more involvement from the community the better it is for us leaders will take an opportunity or, or take a position and, and find a way to resolve a situation or work through an opportunity to deliver the best result. And I think 
broadly what that does is it brings people along with them. So a leader has has a skill set that can inspire those that are around them and get more participation. Community leadership is, is interesting because by definition we've probably got a lot of leaders in the community who are volunteers and who go about assisting us in running programs and, and delivering services that aren't looking for recognition or aren't looking for anything more than just achieving an outcome, something that they're passionate about. And I think it's fair to say that you know we have over a thousand volunteers and we wouldn't get our job done without them. And I think it's important for us as a council to make sure that we recognise them broadly and give them the opportunity to grow and develop as well. So keep improving their skill sets to help us deliver on them. Our staff commit a lot of time to the program as well. And we're not only generating leaders within the community, but we're also enhancing the leaders that we have internally. So staff are giving up their own time to help participants through their journey, through leadership on Kapuringa. But they're also engaging and departing their knowledge and their skill sets that they've learned along, along their careers um, through tutorials and workshop sessions as well. And so this is it's a significant amount of time and I don't think the program would be anywhere near as successful as it has been without the commitment from the staff. I felt I might be able to um, uh, gain new skills to be able to help in the process of promoting this area for tourism which in turn will turn into um, more employment um, and economic, other economic developments. I certainly have learned a lot of new skills which I'll be putting together and using in the future. In particular, what I really, really loved was the uh, learning about how to actually engage the community and how to also, how the council works so that to put the two together to make sure that uh, we're doing something that the whole community, or not the whole, majority of the community is, is wanting to have happen. After finishing the course, I've taken some time out to reflect on where I'm going to take those new skills. And I'm in the process at the moment of uh, collating an action plan to still with the project to promote Port Nalunga for tourism. I have a lot more confidence in uh, approaching other organisations which we will affiliate with. I've gained much more than what I was expecting from leadership on Karinga. I took on the course with the intention to gain skills to be a better member for our community in our association. I've now come away with a bigger picture of what's possible. I now have greater uh, connections with people from all different kinds of resources which will help us in that. And, and on top of it, I've gained um, friendships with every person on the course that will last forever. And that just continually unfolds as well. It also means we have ears and eyes for each other, for each other's projects, and uh, a, an even greater sense for community and belonging. Uh, leadership on Kaparinga, if you get the opportunity to do it. I moved to Odinka a couple of years ago and um, really, really wanted to access my community and I really wasn't sure how to go about that. So I came to the community centre, did a couple of programs here, that led me to the garden. And um, I've become a volunteer at the garden and now wear my hat as the garden planner, the new garden planner, and I'm loving it. Leadership on Karinka came to me at a time when I was restless. Um, the, being here wasn't quite enough. I felt as though I needed to um, go further into my community and I saw the advertisement in the local paper and it just jumped out at me. I think the, the, the standout experiences um, for me with leadership was, um, I'll say this time and time again, was the quality of care and instruction that I experienced through the mentors, through the tutors, through our course leader, Joanna Giannis, through everyone who um, had a hand in our well-being. And I say well-being because I felt very nurtured through the process because it was a very intense, intellectual, emotional, um, participatory um, experience to go through. And um, I felt that uh, we were incredibly well cared for. So um, ultimately I felt that um, the experience of leadership led by example and really showed us what it feels like to be steered, cared, you know, directed um, very, very well and hopefully, you know, taught us that we can give this back to our community.
decided to do it because I thought it would align really well with my studies and to help develop my skills further. Um, I just have a real interest in the community and developing people's skills and for them to be able to see their own potential and to become leaders within their own communities and within themselves. The Southern Regional Alliance Conference um, to talk about leadership and how to develop leadership in the community. Um, I think it's really important as a young person to get involved. It's hard work and you've got to have some dedication, but it's in a really safe environment where I'm putting a lot of the skills to practice and um, still seeing people, catching up with them, with various activities and it's just a really tight group and the connections are really important. The first thing I really took from the program was that there is another language out there. It's called jargon. And that jargon was, uh, it was imperative to understand that jargon. You know, how, how the, uh, the, the dialogue between um, different government groups and the legalistic terms that I was having to come to terms with was what I was, I, I had the people ar ar around that I could actually go and ask, excuse me, what does blah blah mean, and what does this mean, and what does that mean? And I actually under started to understand a lot of the documentation that was coming through, because um, a lot of the, a lot of the the, um, the documentation was um, you know stuff that the professors were putting forward, and and you know here's little old me going, yeah, I don't understand a word, you know. Um, so I, so that was the, that was the first thing that really started to uh, settle with me that this was actually really really important. Um, the second th thing was that actually there's all these wonderful people who are getting together with a community vision and giving each other support and energy to do what they wanted, and that was the really that was that was that was the real kick along, because um, because a lot of these times when people who come in from the community, um, you know, a lot of them don't have a lot of the skills uh, that maybe uh, someone who's being a CEO of a business. So there is a lot of um, insecurity, um, and that insecurity uh, has to be tackled at that level by people such as Leadership Ocaparinga to actually utilise these fantastic people who've got all this great vision and energy and who are willing to be there with volunteers giving up their time and also then obviously giving up their time as well and trying to create that vision to make the community a better place and there it, you know, it was happening. And that was really exciting. I, I knew that I had something to offer, and I had a had a vision that, that other people were going to join in on, and and that's what the the, the course gave to me. key outcomes from our participants in undertaking leadership on Kapuringa is their increased confidence in dealing with people in authority. This is one of the more important elements in their ability to advocate for their community, to be stronger advocates for their community, to be the change agents, to be able to influence decisions and outcomes in our region. We're so proud to support and create an opportunity for our residents to build on their leadership development skills, to use those skills back into our community. Leadership on Kapuringa, there's really nothing like it. It is unique, it is world class and it is available for our residents so that we can continue to build strong and vibrant communities.